Dear students, now we are going to discuss overflow limit cycle oscillations due to addition process. Overflow limit cycle oscillation occurs due to the addition process in the digital systems. When the sum of fixed point numbers exceeds the size of the register used in the digital system, then the overflow error occurs in the output. This overflow error causes the filter to oscillate between the maximum and minimum amplitudes of the system. Such limit cycles are known as overflow oscillations due to addition process. Okay, so here overflow oscillation occurs due to only the addition process of the digital computations. Here we can consider that example. The first example we are going to consider 4-bit digital system. 4-bit digital system means the registers used in the system are having the size of 4 bits. Okay. So the first number is x1 of n is equal to 1110. The second number is x2 of n is equal to 1010. If we are going to add these two values, then we can get 0 plus 0, 0, 1 plus 1, 1, 0. So here 1 is there, right? So 1 plus 1, 1, 0. So 0 here and 1 is here. So 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is 1, 1. We can get the answer like this. So in this one, this one is an overflow error. So here overflow occurs at the output side. Okay. So next example. Here we are going to consider sign magnitude values. So that is two positive numbers. X1 of n is equal to 0 0.111. X2 of n is equal to 0 0.110. We are going to add this to binary values. So here 1 plus 0, it is 1. 1 plus 1, 1, 0. So here we have to write 0 and 1 is here. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 is nothing but 1, 1. So we have to write 1 and the remaining 1 to that. Next bit. So here we can have the answer as 1.101. As it is a sign magnitude bit, the last bit here that MSB represents the sign value. 0 represents the positive, 1 represents the negative. So now we have got the answer in terms of negative value. Correct? So when we are going to add two positive numbers, the result should be in positive. But here we are having the negative number. So the output is wrongly interpreted as a negative number. So this is the respective decimal value for this value. So 0.111 can be represented as 0 0.875. 0 0.110 is represented as 0 0.750. So we are going to add these two values then we can get the answer as 1.625. So here this one represents the negative. So here we can write it is a minus 0.625. It is a wrong answer. So it can create some error. So due to this overflow, we can have some errors in the output. This is the transfer characteristics of an adder. So if there is any overflow error occurs, then the filter oscillates between the maximum and minimum amplitudes. Okay, that is given like this. So we need to prevent this overflow error in adder circuit. So for that we are going to use two methods. One is saturation arithmetic method. The next one is signal scaling method. Let's discuss one by one in detail. So saturation arithmetic method. In order to avoid the overflow error, the characteristics of the adder are modified to perform the saturation arithmetic. So what does mean by saturation arithmetic here? So when an overflow is sensed, the sum of the adder is set to the maximum value by default. If an overflow occurs means automatically the sum of the adder is set to the maximum value of the system. Here the major disadvantage is it causes an undesirable signal distortion due to the non-linearity in the adder circuit because we are going to assume the value as a maximum one okay so it can create some non-linearity in the system that is the major disadvantage of this 
saturation arithmetic method so the next method is signal scaling method in order to reduce the amount of nonlinear distortion in the adder circuit the signal is scaled up to a certain level so here we are going to consider a second order iir filter so here second order means we need to have two delays right so here the input signal is scaled up to a factor is zero okay so it can create some intermediate output w of z so the transfer function between the scaled up value for this adder is h dash z that overall transfer function is given as h of z okay so next a scale factor s not is introduced between the input signal and the adder to prevent the overflow at the adder itself here we can consider the transfer overall transfer function like this okay so here the overall transfer function h of z is equal to s not that is the overall transfer function is scaled up correct so s not into this is the standard format of the transfer function so here we can say h of z is equal to s not the numerator polynomial to the denominator polynomial by scaling up the values we can reduce the non linear distortion in the adder circuit here the s not value is equal to 1 by square root of capital i where this i is nothing but 1 by 2 pi j integration over z power minus 1 divided by the denominator polynomial that is d of z multiplied with d of z inverse with respect to dz okay so this is the value of scaling factor